Hi there everyone, this is Tina and this is your message of the day and this comes to you whenever you need it. Really, this day is going like that. On the day of Tuesday, June the 11th, 2024. And even within the date, there's a number for balance. So this is really a day to seek balance of mind, of body, of spirit, or all three. To really seek change and routine. To seek calm and relaxation no matter what. To remember to focus on the real, what is a priority to you, what brings you happiness, what does not serve you. All of that. It might just come up all together. So it might seem overwhelming that which which way do I focus my mind? Is it going left or is it going right or what is it? And you might be in the middle of responsibilities in the work day and also have a career to take care of, a job, a family. All of that is taken care of by divinity. Divinity is saying that seek more of the divine actually and make that a priority to bring more of the divine and your higher self and your your divinity into every day. How do I manage my every day with more and more of my higher self and recognizing that and remembering the divine presence around me, within me, guiding me and helping me? We often forget that and think we're just alone. If nothing else, just remember the supreme power of the angels, the most unconditional form of the light that will just mold themselves to you. And if you forget everything else, universal life force energy from the Akashic spaces, help me with. And today it is a beautiful, beautiful helper from the Akashic spaces, one of the divine fathers of the Akashic council, a healer of the ages who comes forward. Now you might say, what ages are you talking about? Is it human age or is it past, present, future? Whatever you want it to be. However you want to cross time, understand time, cleanse time, mold time, be with time, all of that time, this word, don't let it bother you and don't let it upset you or or cause any reason to fear. So look into his eyes, first of all, just beaming with the light, the golden light of all of the ages of the Akashic Council, which will actually change and mold itself according to what you need and need to understand, need to clean, need to make need to make peace with any fears you want to nullify, any anger you want to change and transmute the negative. Don't ask questions where you just fear and just give up. Just say that I'm here to understand as the divine ones want me to understand and change myself to receive the best so that you remove completely what does not serve you at this moment of time. That's why, again, me, as being your messenger of the light, Tina, I'm not afraid to present this whenever it comes to you, however it comes to you, how many times you listen to it, how many of you listen to it. You all are beautiful, wonderful souls. We're going on a beautiful journey together, and it's just going to become more and more beautiful. I have no doubt of that. So have no doubt that the journey you've chosen is one of trans- transformation, change, and cleanse that is best for you and is have and has you fulfilled and happy in every way because you've decided to be so. When you were born, you took, you can say, that's the first promise you took for yourself, that I choose to be happy no matter what. And you've forgotten that somewhere in all the karmic cleansing and baggage in the understanding or trying to follow destiny or trying to be perfect and trying to follow rituals and prayer, which is correct to do. You should have a foundation. That's why there are a huge wall of light behind him, which is acting as the foundational wall of light that is giving you all the blueprints, all the laws of the universe and all the laws of the religion and traditions you follow, you should never lose those. Those connect you to who you are, to the lineage you come from, your ancestors, and will make you feel then supported and erect in that sense. You've not lost yourself in any of the drama that has happened. You're still there. And he has his hands out towards you. 
Again, choose the left or right hand to first cleanse and clear and make peace with the past to remove and transmute all baggage that is still unnecessarily hovering and burning away your sense of peace and dignity and clarity and just bring then through those holy flames what you need to bring in to transmute and change and bring in more of the divine as we said as your spiritual team the spiritual team that you recognize and that is your foundation the words the prayers the invocation the holy ones that you truly and with full heart connect to whenever you are troubled you just reach out to the spiritual team spontaneously and this day they will add more you can say more of the holy ones will come forward for you so go ahead this is the time to seek that change and to reflect that change and be that change within you within your environment within all the activities you do all the conversations that you engage in all the discussions you have with the divine ones with your loved ones practical concerns you have the healer of the ages will heal it will change it if it does not work for you it's a source of pain a source of fear a source of negativity troublesome bothersome look at the holy flame now and let it burn away whatever you want to no longer carry with you into the future it will not go forward with you and if you look back his face should have changed or would seem like it's changed for you it has because his hair is asking you then to pull down the wisdom you need immediately first on your left side for your immediate present your reality where you're standing literally right now yesterday just yesterday meaning just a day before what you dealt, dealt with that you felt with and that did not sit well with you decisions you took or were forced to take circumstances you were forced to walk through conversations you were forced to speak where you did not want to speak all that power that you felt you lost will return and that too in a divine way you just reclaiming who, your higher self who you really are the blueprint of your akashic spaces your akashic records is very much just clean clear it's cleaned away it's cleansed away that's why he's wearing that robe also literally carrying what seems like clouds the clouds are that changing agents clearing agents from the akashic spaces you can give them whatever name you want to they will come forward only from your akashic records for your akashic purposes you can say and give you the holy answers that you seek as you need and is best for you right now and that is why he's wearing it also as a sleeve that is covering and going straight into his palms so whatever you receive in that guidance will seem re- relevant step by step easy to follow you'll receive it intuitively you will enhance your intuition your capacity con- to connect to the divine ones will become stronger it'll be easier to receive their answers and just take a moment to receive an answer right now absolutely clear and easy with symbols with words with feeling with fragrance a knowing you feel as if someone is touching your shoulder or is trying to reach out to you with lots of love just oozing into your heart chakra making it brighter and brighter that portal of light is just growing brighter and brighter as you believe this receive this engage with it 
apply it, follow it. Of course, you will get more and more higher wisdom because you're ready and receptive and trusting, hopeful. And then as you look back at him, you see then his heart chakra. It seems to be very complicated there, right? It, there's so much going on. It's basically you, again, choosing to express how you express, the very words you use, the emotion you bring into those words, the conversations you have this day, what you choose to express, what you choose to hold on to as a complaint and don't even talk about it and don't express it, a prayer, an invocation, a desire, an affirmation, clarity or epiphany that you've understood but you have nowhere to express it, write it down. You don't have to always verbalize anything. Throat chakra does not always mean that you have to literally verbalize it or be engaged in speech all the time. You can just write it down or just relaxedly take it in a meditation or prayer and with your guardian angel, with the healer of the ages here, ask him to give you a specific name that you can call him by so that you feel a deeper sense of connection a more personalized sense of connection, a customized sense of connection, more spirituality then pouring into you and your heart chakra is getting brighter and brighter with the golden sunlight then just oozing through the doorway that's open that is saying, yes, dear one, you are connected to all realms of heaven not just to the Akashic spaces. Don't make it esoteric. Make it practical. You want signs. You need help in something right here, right now. Your finances, your health, your home, your taxes, your family, messages you have to send, decisions you have to make, what you have to understand about something, receptivity, feeling safe and secure. Think about everything that is upsetting you in some way or is causing a sense of stress or feeling neglected or feeling powerless, not powerful, to reclaim your divine power back in every way. And it will slowly but surely send that golden light down into your chakra points. You don't see the chakra points highlighted here, but right? But they're held in the violet flame too because Archangel Raziel and Michael and Zadkiel are all aiding this process. Removing all that is troublesome is old, does not have any space or time or relevance for you anymore, but is just stuck there like a parasite. Just remove it. You don't have to be angry about it. Just peacefully and gracefully choose to to understand, to receive the wisdom related to what it is, how it affects you, how it affects others connected to you, and just connect back to the robe that he's wearing very easily. That's why it's so easily and simply portrayed. It's so easy for you to understand. There's just movement going on all around you. You just allow it. The angelic forces, the divine forces, the spiritual team working with you. Permission, permission. Yes, I receive. Yes, I choose. And yes, I flow with. Whatever words you want to use, your own language, meditations and affirmations and invocations and symbols, divine images that help you flow along with incense, with candles, however you choose to do this. But it's flowing with the light and the healer of the ages will, of course, aid that process. There's just so much behind him. Layers and layers of different forms of the Akashic spaces, wherever your eye falls or your heart leads you, 
to look at that, there's a relevance for you. There's a reason that you were seeing that. Why is it not the outer portion? Why is it most innermost connected to his crown? Why is it the landscape leading out into heaven? Is it you being carefree? Is it you connecting with the larger canopy of life? Is it you establishing a foundation, feeling protected and safe? Is it you applying back into your daily life more and more, your spiritual and higher self that you've been neglecting all this time, removing blame from your life and bringing more of a sense of safety and gratitude and knowing that, yes, I am divine. And that's not being arrogant. That's not praising yourself. That's just defining yourself as you're meant to be defined. Take that thought also out of your mind. Wherever judgment or criticism or words have hurt you, acknowledge that and burn it away. That's not harming the other person. It's just removing ill residue from your life. You don't have to carry it and you don't have to believe it. It's not your truth. So why carry it? The outer landscape, even behind all of this pyramid and temple and foundation that he's standing right in front of is absolute blue, peaceful, powerful, strong, long-term, flowing in the left, flowing in the right, but graceful and easy. So if you seek just that kind of ease in your life that you don't have to struggle for anything, then choose left or right. Which part of your life, what aspect of your life you need help with? The healer of the ages will give you healing related to that. Healers related to that, both heavenly and earthly. Methods, words, step by step, knowing if that's what you need, that you're just, just too tired and don't even want to think and don't even want to try. Intuition, forget it. Then go into also the two bowls of fire, the divine flame that is burning on the left and right side. Again, choose what it is that you quickly want resolution to. This is quick resolution because this day has just come to just finally just push aside everything that you even unknowingly create for yourself, reasons and patterns behaviors and opportunities that are coming, you remove them and change them. You fear too much. You get into anger and reaction too much. Whatever it is, this is not for you again to start blaming yourself. This is to remove and say, no, I will no longer do that. And so if you burn away that, you're bringing in quickly, in a quantum leap fashion, what you're supposed to have. And then you'll be more excited about your life and want to go forward into completing that life purpose that you're meant to have. That you keep on questioning yourself for and say, I don't have any life purpose. I just seem to be here just taking up space. Don't say that ever about your life or you. You're important and precious and like a diamond in the landscape of the starry sky. Not one of the stars says to another star, that I'm more important. They're all important, right? That's you. You're part of that, the holy landscape. And it is not complete without you, a painting that needs you. And then look at the right side and see the huge flame of light coming up through the holy holder of divine opportunity and change and movement. And this is for those wishes that are just so dear to your heart right now. Look back into your heart and see what is your priority, who is your priority, your relationships, what you choose, what you want to focus on. None of it is frivolous. You just choose 
to remove what is acting as an obstacle or delay to the fulfillment of this wish, completion of this manifestation. Why is it stuck? Why is it delayed? What's the reason there's an obstacle? Is there a better way to do it? A better approach? A better thought system to understand it better, to get a divine perspective literally about this? And look back into his hand and receive that chance, that understanding and movement all together on the right side of his robe then. Creating that movement, creating that change today and applying something right within this day to bring that change and opportunity and not holding back from anything. And there might be a huge shift in your thinking, in your movement, how you approach life. But you would have crossed into the better part of your journey and you will just keep moving. Why? Because you chose to and you listen. Welcome to the real you. And now we will see what is the affirmation that the Divine Ones want to share with you regarding this. I'll just take a moment. The powerful healing of eternal love is with me now and always. Divine consciousness fills every cell. I am whole, healthy, vital, and at peace. And from these two words, you can choose both of these words as your words of power, health and vitality. What is your focus point for this day? What kind of health do you seek to enhance? What kind of vitality do you want to embrace and sparkle within and with? And this comes to you from the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. And Sandra can be reached at S-A-N-D-R-A-T-A-Y-L-O-R.com. And the super, superb flow and glow, reaffirming power of the light comes through the art of Jenna Della Grottagelia. And Jenna can be reached at A-U-T-U-M-N-S-G-O-D-D. E double S dot com. And this is Tina signing off for now. Bye bye.